Hey everyone, it's me, Emmerich, aka Momo, and welcome to another episode of Sorry, I'm British. So, what am I apologising for today? British TV dramas are so fancy. I get the feeling that what you're actually asking me is, why am I so fancy? But... No, I was talking about the British dramas, like Downton Abbey and Sherlock. Oh, poor baby. You've never even seen a real, true, blue British TV show. So sad. All the fancy dramas were made by the BBC, right? They're so good. First of all, stop using the word fancy, and we do have other TV channels in the UK apart from the BBC, and they all make dramas, but some are better than others. Do you know your favourite show, Downton Abbey, is actually created by ITV? We also have Channel 4. They made Black Mirror. It might also be interesting for you to know that some popular dramas with British actors or revolving around British history are actually produced by American TV or cable networks. Game of Thrones is a HBO show and The Crown is a Netflix original. Why do Americans love British history so much? I mean, because they don't have any of their own, clearly. Not all British dramas are as well funded as the ones that we've just mentioned. And surprise, not all British TV shows are dramas. Have you ever seen any British comedies? We've got Black Books, Mr Bean, IT Crowd, Bad Education and Uncle and my personal favourite, Absolutely Fabulous. A lot of these don't have fancy costumes or setups but they do maintain our unique British sense of humour. Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? Hello IT. <laughs> Something's wrong with my computer. Have you tried turning it off and on again? No, 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 oh dear. Awkward, but super funny. Oh, and British comedies usually only have around six episodes per season, as opposed to the super long American TV shows. Yeah, what she said. Steeped in history as we are, the UK also produces a lot of fantasy and science fiction shows. We've got the big budget ones such as Doctor Who and Merlin, and then we've also got Misfits, Penny Dreadful, and things like that which aren't filled to the brim with special and fancy effects. And of course we've got the good old-fashioned soap operas, the most famous being Emma Dale, EastEnders, or Coronation Street. The last one, interestingly, is actually older than my mother. Sorry, Mum. Oh, by the way, uh, I should be going out later on. Oh, are you, are you meeting a girl? Yes. See, these soaps aren't even that fancy. Ha! I win. There are also a lot of dramas about youth culture in the UK, such as The Inbetweeners and Skins. And I'm sure if you had some kind of pure imagination about youngsters here in the UK, these shows might just change your mind. We got you a special birthday treat. Did you? Stripper. What? Have you really booked a stripper? Yeah. She was only 150 quid. How did you manage to pay for that? We haven't paid yet. We just have a whip round when she gets here. Actually, there are large differences between dramas produced in the UK and those produced overseas, especially in countries like the US. For example, shows on British telly don't really rely on revenue from commercials and therefore scriptwriters and producers are more free to focus on the work and produce high quality and standards. I guess you could say British TV shows are fancier in this way. Yay, it's time for a quiz. Okay, so for this week the question is, in which year did the first British drama air on television? Make sure to leave your comments down below and we'll reveal the answer on Weibo. Now, go subscribe to OMG. And of course to me. Okay, until next time, as always, kisses from England. Bye guys. Ah. I really need to make a TV show about my life. Not getting a role yet. Well, of course. Like, we need some ugly people so I look more beautiful by comparison. If you're gonna fund me, just, you know, give me a call. <laughs> oh. So guys, make sure to subscribe to OMG here, and of course to me here, and then head all the way over here where you can watch more videos of us doing British things and Chinese things and, you know, being beautiful. It's what we do best.